Singer and all-round entertainer and lovely lady Cilla Black was loved by millions and her untimely death in 2015 was a shock to us all. So what better way to remember our Cilla than a beautiful statue to pay tribute to the star in her hometown? Well, the bronze figure was commissioned by Cilla's sons who are donating it to the city of Liverpool in her memory. We'll speak to her son, Robert, who is making a speech on her behalf now, but we can now join her good friend, radio presenter Pete Price, who is there for the exclusive unveiling and this is happening right now so let's just have a little listen to what's going on there okay one minute your time is spot on robert has just given the most beautiful speech we've got the world press here we've got everybody here we are now robert ladies, over to you ladies and gentlemen miss silla black Let's have a, a chat Absolutely. to, uh, to both of you. It's absolutely fabulous. Oh, it's yeah, no, it's lovely. Great. It brings a smile um, because I think they've caught, they've caught the, 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 the joy, and even the dog loves it as well. Um, yeah, they brought a, they captured her joy. You know. why, why did you know a statue? Tell us again for the television. Well, we were asked um, by the mayor if we wanted to do something to, to some sort of memorial, and he suggested a statue. And we thought that that would actually be really fitting for her. But also, if we commissioned it and if we donated it to the city, it would be a, a small gesture of gratitude for the, to the wonderful people of this great city and how they responded after our mother died and the love and support they gave us. It was, you know, it made now, us Now, explain to the world about the dress, because that piece that Emma Rogers and Andy Edwards has done, just tell us about that. Well, it's based, obviously, on a 60s design. It's mod, so you got uh, it's checkered, and so it enabled us then to put little hidden stories um, whether it's uh, photos that we then had created into these little vignettes and, and uh, lyrics and lots of little stories hidden in there for people to check out, you know. How does it feel as a son and your two brothers are here as well and the family to see your mum there? It must be the strangest feeling in the world. Uh, I'm just incredibly relieved that, you know, um, yeah. for everyone that it actually turned out as well as it did. We, we're, we're so happy with it, and I hope people get it and enjoy it. And uh, uh, you know, just wanted to have something that's a positive addition. Did they get the legs right, Robert? They did. She had great <laughs> legs. That was important. She would, and also the nose as well. That's the post nose job nose, which she would have insisted which she on. Which you insisted she on. Would have the insisted record. On. Uh, yeah. that, so she's standing on. Tell us about she's that. She's standing on a record. You're my world uh, is the record that we based it on, and we thought that was because um, you're going through the, the practical how do you secure a, a, you know. A statue to the to the and so yeah it was um, it was just it was just a lovely motif and you're my world is you know such a classic song and, yeah, it's amazing it's she's there John Lennon's over there the Beatles are up there the first Beatles statue that I built and all this is happening here what would she say if she saw that she would have been uh, you know she would have burst out laughing and been thrilled and delighted she'd have loved it she'd have loved being young. You know, because that was the thing. She was very youthful and in her attitude and her way she lived her life and she'd have loved being captured at a time when, um, you know, she was young and you know, everything was happening for her. Pete, can I just Tell jump... Uh, can I... Peter, can Emma I... Rogers and we've got the uh, lovely, uh, lovely uh, Andy uh, Edwards well, and the mayor as well, who has made life yeah. so much easier with planning permission. Here's the two artists. It's been a privilege to work with them. Uh, Pete, I don't know whether you can hear me, uh, but I did, did actually just want to have a quick word about the location because uh, not very many people know, and especially the tourists who, uh, many of the tourists who Tell arrive us about in the location because a lot of people don't know where we are. Well, we're here outside the original entrance to the cavern, and um, and that's because obviously they redid it up there, you see. And so basically, the, one of the reasons why we put it here was so that people could contemplate our mother, but also contemplate that they're actually standing in the spot where the original cavern was, uh, and that was a big part of our decision. Absolutely um, amazing. Thank, thank you, guys. You thank you so thank much. You. It was a real treat to it's have a that I think she'd be so, so pleased with that. I didn't realise that, so the, that the Cavern Club had actually moved across the I road. Didn't either. And, I didn't And Silly used to see people going into the Cavern Club and go, yeah, that's, that's not where it was. That's that's not not where so it's was. lovely that actually that's a real landmark now yeah. to where the original door is was. where Silla is, where showing you the way. Through. Absolutely. Beautiful. That's lovely. And that's a stunning statue. Well done, Emma Rogers. Amazing. And if you do, you are in Liverpool, as Robert was saying there, there's all sorts of little bits that you can you can pick up on as you go through um, go through the you know looking looking through the statue. There's yeah, all the dress. The yeah, beautiful well, the things. Flower.